and welcome to climbingarborist.com. In this episode of Arborist Tips, I'm going to set up a simple trigger mechanism for my big shot. <clears throat> so the equipment that I have um, to make my trigger, um, I have two pieces of cord. Um, the small one is about a foot and a half long, and then the bigger piece is maybe about three foot long. I also have some slightly thicker rope. Um, I've got about 10 foot of this. I have uh, one carabiner on the end of that, a second carabiner here. I have a double pulley and then I have a single pulley. I'm going to use um, a trigger from an archery bow because uh, it's very strong and it releases very quickly and very easily. So I'm going to use that's a Cobra um, archery trigger and finally to for the trigger to clip onto I'm just using some 2.8 mil thick wire um, and I've just put some rubber tubing around it just to protect uh, the handle of the big shot. And finally I've just got a small quick clink as well. The first thing I've done um, in creating the system is tied the three foot uh, piece of cord to the base of the pole here and that's going to act as the anchor point um, for my rope. So that prusik there is just going to hold nice and strong um, for pulling against. <coughs> so tied the prusik. Next job is connect the 10 foot rope to the prusik. Now I'll pass the rope through one section of the double pulley. Um, take single pulley and just place that through the carabiner at the base um, in the middle of the two eyes of the Prusik hitch. Then pass the rope through that pulley and back up. And then back through the other side of the double pulley. Just going to tie a stopper knot in the end, um, leaving maybe a three inch tail there, just so the stopper knot is going to pull up against the pulley and with that tail you've still got something um, to start with. Now I've got a small quick link here and on the end of my Cobra trigger um, there's a nut and a washer. Now the washer is just big enough to stop it pulling through the quick link there. Um, so you can slide that in sideways and there you go. So now the trigger's fastened on and the final part is to tie on this little friction cord and I'm going to tie that um, just before the double pulley on on this part of the rope that has the end with the stopper knot. So this is gonna um, this is gonna lock off. So each time you pull down, when you let go, the friction cord is gonna grab and it's gonna lock it. So you can pull it down and let go, um, and then so you can keep going and it'll keep locking off. So I'm just gonna tie a distal knot here. Um, any friction knot could be tied really. Uh, I'm just tying a distal because it it's like um, keeps it all in line rather than pulling sort of sideways. 
So I've tied the little friction hitch um, and then finally connected uh, the carabiner to the top of the pulley and then I'm just going to put both eyes of the hitch through that carabiner as well. And that's the system. So all I have to do now is pull the big shot down a touch. And there we have it. That's the trigger mechanism. And as you can see, I mentioned the way it locks off. So you pull down, release, and the friction cord there grabs. Pull down and release, and it's grabbing there. Um, there's a few different ways you can do this. If you have, um, say, a Petzl pulley with the built-in rope grab, um, that would work perfectly, although it's a little bit more expensive. Um, so you wouldn't want to go out and buy that, especially for this system. I've tried to make this as cheap as possible really, um, but obviously still using equipment that's going to hold up to the pressure. Um, also you don't have to use the double pulley and a single pulley, you could um, really just use a single pulley, pulley up here um, and then have the, the friction cord to lock it off. It's just with the double and the single, um, it just means you can get that much more tension on it um, for those higher shots. So now I've got my trigger ready and set up, it's time to use it. So place the throw ball in the bag and take hold of the end, crank it down. So there you go, I've cranked it down um, and that's definitely further than I can pull it by hand. But now you've also got the added benefit. You can take your time, you're not struggling to hold it onto the big shot. You can aim, just have your finger on this nice little trigger here. Aim, get it all lined up nice and straight. That's the beauty of the trigger. And then boom. So that was no effort whatsoever. Um, just fired it up into a poplar tree. Probably got an anchor point there of about 80 foot high. Um, and there was still a bit to go. You could have cranked that even more. 